It's early November and this time of the year, the wind and the waters of Lake Erie can work together to create some really wacky weather. There's the snow, of course, but the lake surface itself can get pretty wild if the wind is from just the right direction with something called a seiche. The science behind this sloshy phenomenon is in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. Seiche is a funny word with kind of an awkward spelling. The root of the word has origins with Swiss French or German, and the word loosely translates to the sinking of water. So it's kind of an odd word, but given what's going on, it fits. Let me explain in terms of Lake Erie. During a seiche for Buffalo, a strong, long-lived southwest wind exerts a force on the lake surface. That force literally pushes water from the southwest end near Cleveland to the northeast end near Buffalo. That can create a big, rapid rise in the water level near us, but a big drop for our neighbors in Ohio. That big seesaw in water levels can only keep it up as long as the wind keeps blowing. So once that starts to back off, the water sloshes back in the other direction. That can create a surge in the water levels near Cleveland and then a drop near Buffalo. This would be smaller in magnitude than that first shift, but this sloshing effect goes on until the water levels out completely thanks to gravity and some other complex forces. For us, a seiche is most common in late fall or spring. Both of those times feature an active jet stream capable of producing strong storm systems. If one of those systems passes to our north, we're in prime position for a strong southwest wind and rising water levels. But just to be clear, not every water level rise here in Buffalo is considered a seiche. There needs to be evidence of substantial water level changes in a pretty short period of time. For example, the last couple of major seiches in Buffalo have seen water levels rise between four to six feet within a period of about six to eight hours. And while Lake Erie isn't the most prolific snow producer of the Great Lakes, it is most prone to a seiche. That's thanks to the fact that it's the shallowest of the five lakes and its southwest and northeast orientation angles it just right for a southwest wind, something that's pretty common in the northeast. That's it for this week's Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember it's good to be a geek.